Yoo-hoo. Hey. You. Yeah, grab you a cup of coffee. And have a sit. This is the very first show of Tonyisms outside the four walls. And this show is meant to encourage all believers in Christ, all Christians, that there's more. And there's so much more that we haven't even scratched the surface. And I will be sharing my story throughout these shows in the upcoming weeks. I was an atheist who was healed of Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, God is no respecter of persons. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did for me, he will do for you. He is no respecter of persons. And so this show is to encourage, to motivate, to create hope and expectation, and to further us along in the good news of Christ and what that all entails. Part of what it entails is that we believers are completely healed, and then we minister to others. Now in Acts 10.38, we've got how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Now, Jesus was the firstborn of many, and were the many. Here in chapter 11, in Acts, verse 16, Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much then as God gave them the like gift, as he did unto us who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I that I could withstand God? So here we have Peter talking. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, the same as Jesus was. So with the Holy Ghost comes power. And Jesus, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Therefore, since Jesus was the firstborn of many, and were the many, God is with us, and he will never leave or forsake us. So guess what? Our mission is the same, to go about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. I was an atheist. I was healed from Lou Gehrig's disease. The Lord is no respecter of persons. He will and has done the same for you we need to start believing this we need to take Christ outside of the four walls into our daily lives where we are vessels of his glory his glory is within us in the embodiment of the Holy Spirit now in Romans verse 2 and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. What does prove mean? It means demonstrate. What is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? And here is somebody was healed from Lou Gehrig's disease, telling you that the Lord your God is no respecter of persons, and what he has done for me, he will do for you, period. Only believe. Now, before my healing, 
I was baptized roughly a year before. I accepted Christ December 23rd, 2010. Didn't tell anybody. Didn't know tell anybody. Hadn't read scripture yet. Got baptized. In the wheelchair. Paralyzed. Dying. And yet the Christianity I saw in that year was completely different than what I saw after I was healed. The day after I, the day of my healing, I started ministering to the sick, commanding their healing. You can do the same. All believers, greater things than these shall you do who believe. He's no respecter of persons. When nothing is impossible for those that believe. There are so many scriptures that verify that we are sons of God in Christ. We are Christ's hands and feet. Therefore, we should be doing these same things and more as what he did in the Gospels. When I started studying scripture after my healing, I started with the Gospels and what I saw, my heart was stirred up. How can you read the Gospels of Christ and not see that we who believe in him should be doing the same things? So that is what this show is about, is to get you motivated and encouraged and give you an example of a normal person doing extraordinary things because of who's in him. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. This doesn't mean that we sit back and are afraid of having diseases. This doesn't mean we sit back and just let the world pass us by. This means that we reach out in love and minister to those who don't know Christ. We are the ones that should not be conformed to this world. But yet, when we sound the same as this world, when we're as sick as everyone else, and this isn't condemnation, what this is, is showing you this is possible. This is what we are supposed to be doing, but we're not because we haven't seen it before. Now, more than ever before, there are people walking in this. Ordinary people, just like myself, that have compassion, knowing I've got the Holy Spirit in me. I am part of the body of Christ. I'm his hands and feet. How can I not stop and pray and see the sick healed and see those who are lost hear the good news of Christ? This is an incredible life that I never dreamed of. Before Christ, I was addicted to drugs, to alcohol, to everything, I was a mean, as as me as a rattlesnake person who denied God but hated Him at the same time. How can you hate something you don't believe in? And I will be talking more about that. It isn't us against them. It's not believers versus unbelievers. It is believers for the unbeliever reaching out in love and since we have the power and authority of Christ we can minister to them and to each other and we should be healthy and we should be living but we have conformed to this world and so therefore we are suffering from the same things that they are that Christ paid for us to be redeemed from. And this is because that we have believed lies. And when you believe the 
like you get a life. When you believe the truth, you get the truth. So now here is somebody that has been there, and he is telling you, it is God's will that you be healed. Grab a hold of that. And in Jesus' name, right now, there's somebody with a tumor in their brain. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. There's somebody with a replaced knee, a, a artificial knee. Right now, in Jesus' name, that knee be made whole, be healed. No more pain at all. Thank you, Jesus. The nerve that runs inside the funny bone nerve. That hurts somebody. In Jesus' name, be healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. This is normal Christianity. We are the light of the world. We need to let our light shine because the light is the Holy Spirit within us who has anointed us with his power that we see all the works of the devil gone. We're Jesus' hands and feet. And there's many people out there with back problems. All back pain leave right now in Jesus' name. No more back pain at all. And just because I do not call your specific illness doesn't mean anything. In Jesus' name, you are healed now. All pain flee. James 4, 7. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee. It does not say that the devil can resist you. Turn the light off that's in your room. Whatever room you're in, turn off. Now turn back on. How long does it take the darkness to flee? It happens immediately. We have the Holy Spirit within us. All we have to do is believe. And we have the measure of faith. Every man has been dealt the measure of faith. We have the spirit of faith, which is the Holy Spirit. We aren't lacking in faith. We're lacking in hope and expectation. So now, move around. How are you feeling? Looking for the improvement, expecting the improvement, because the word of God does not lie. So, I hope that you will be joining me in the future. I have got a lot to share, both about my testimony and about what I've learned about healing and about walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. And so God bless each and every one of you. Be healed, be blessed, and be a blessing. Coming up is my information and there's many ways to get a hold of me. I love to pray for people. I want to see everyone healed and walk in what we're supposed to walk in. And so, be blessed. Be 